Uh, what's going on everybody? Uh, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Josh. I go by JMW. Um, it's just a quick one. I'm leaving work now to go get the car. Um, I'm so excited. This is like a very weird experience. This is the first time getting my first car. So, um, well, first car that's mine. Um, it's been in the works for a long time now. A lot of my close friends know about this. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's go fetch this baby. Let's get it. What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, for those of you who don't know me, uh, my name is Josh, I go by JMW. I used to upload gaming content uh, exclusively. Then uh, I went to MIA for like a good two years, two, three years. And um, yeah, I've decided to make a return. Gonna be uploading something a bit more passionate about something I actually regularly do and take interest in these days. Yeah, without further ado, let's just hop into it. Cause I'm, I'm at the mall right now. Just thought I'd come grab some shots uh, with, the, with the new whip, with the baby. Um, but yeah, so cool. So without further ado, let's get started guys. Um, so like I said, for those of you who don't know me and new to the channel, my name is Josh, I go by JMW and uh, I'm going to be uploading automotive content. A lot of it's going to be my personal cars, uh, or car and content on my car, as well as going to car meets, events and reviewing other people's cars, you know, something just like. Make it, making it fun, you know, not too serious because uh, I think YouTube is starting to get a bit too serious and people are trying too hard and I, I just want to have fun with it, you know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, let's just run through it real quick. There's going to be some footage I already have actually that I took last weekend of the car, uh, same place. So some of it's new, some of it's old, just bear with me guys. So just to give you guys a quick rundown, this is my new baby, this is the whip. She is a 2014 BMW 220i M Sport. Um, there's quite a few things on the car to mention. Uh, so let's get started. Mainly, she is a 2014 model, so she's actually a 10 year old car, but she's one of the cleanest ones I have found on the market, uh, especially around the price point. It was really like a bang for buck deal. Um, the car is pretty much stock as well, which I quite like, because it means I can do what I want to it and build my ideal car and dream car out of her. So some of the mods I do have are the gloss black uh, dual slat M style grills. Um, bit of vinyl there just to give some M colors, but we'll be switching up some stuff soon. And uh, the V bars have been redone in a blue to kind of go with the car. Those are also going to be redone soon. I did have the M performance style splitting gloss black. Unfortunately, the bottom section did break due to a, an unfortunate like speed bump. Uh, you guys know how it is. You got a low car. You got to you got to start dodging these things. Um, it was already damaged when I bought the car, unfortunately. So kind of just broke off. But it's all good. We're gonna be replacing her. Um, so yeah, guys, bear with me. The car is dirty. Yesterday there was like a bad storm, and I kind of had to drive through it, unfortunately. So um, yeah, we got the full M performance kit on the car. So it's not just an M Sport with some you know random aesthetic touches. We do have the actual M Sport and in performance package rather so proper m calipers um obviously not the same as getting like a m car because those have larger calipers larger discs they slatted they drilled all that good stuff we got some additional just like a little lip side skirt on the car just to give it a bit more of an aggressive touch but there will be updates on those down the line um and then as we go around the back also this is the stock standard lip it's just been wrapped in black but we got plans future plans for that coming soon one thing I will tell you guys on the car that is not stock in terms of non-aesthetics is the last third of the exhaust has actually been redone by Kailami Exhaust. So shout out to them. They actually did like an amazing custom fab for the car. So instead of cutting the exhaust and putting on a piece, they actually unbolted the last third and bolted on this custom fab, given the exhaust an actual like one-one split either side. So we've also got this aggressive gloss black diffuser with some you guys already know, had to go with some Acras, Acra tips, making the car super aggressive, especially for a 220i. Um, but yeah, I got I got some like crazy plans for the car. Uh, 
that we will be we will be both announcing and speaking about but also some stuff keeping secret just to make it a surprise down the line and then as we get into the car we've obviously once again in performance uh, model so we've got the m sport steering wheel we've got the uh paddle shifters these will be replaced soon don't worry i know no one likes these short chunky ones myself included but we'll get that done and then the quote-unquote digital dash then another big big thing which i love is the extended iDrive screen so this was the 10 inch optional screen versus the stock standard 7 or 8 inch i believe it's a i can't i can't even begin to explain how much nicer it is having the extended screen all right now coming to the performance side of things the engine side as most people would want to know about uh, the car is stock uh, in terms of parts performance wise um, honestly i don't mind that because it means the car hasn't been tampered with by people uh, and you know if it had been you don't know who's tampered with it you don't know how good their quality of work is cool guys sorry for the lighting like i said it's gotten dark real quick here um but yeah pretty much like i just wanted to kind of create this video um one just giving a rundown of the car you know i'm super excited to to have achieved this um especially at at my age um you know it's, i honestly never thought i'd be getting something like this at 21 um and before everyone says anything in the comments and shit like no it's not mommy's money it's not daddy's money this is all my cash um so I, I'm, I'm super proud, you know, I'm super proud of what I've accomplished. Uh, I've worked really hard for this, made a lot of sacrifices. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm really, I'm really excited to see what, what, uh, what there is to, to come, both for the channel and for the car. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Again, this is just like a little intro thing. Uh, I do have some other stuff planned. Next week, Sunday is actually Beamer Fest. So... It's, I'm super excited that I got my car before Beamer Fest. We're going to be going to Beamer Fest uh, with some of the homies. Going to be recording, taking some some nice photos, videos, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to to film that for you guys. And you know, just give you guys, like I said, the type of content I want to be creating. You know, nothing, nothing too serious, nothing too formal. But at the same time, you know, it's going to be good quality content and it's going to be like enjoyable content. That's that's the idea at the end of the day. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope I didn't ramble on too much. And I am starting to upload again on all my other socials on Instagram and on TikTok and all that good stuff. So I'll link those down below. If you guys would like to see more content, please go down, drop a follow. Uh, go check out what I've what I've started uploading. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your night, the rest of your evening, whatever time it may be for you when you're watching this. And I uh, hope to see you guys soon. Peace and love.